Our project is targeting falls, particularly in the elderly population. So when a person falls, they often don't remember why they fell, where they were when they fell, kind of like the context surrounding their fall. So our device is not only detecting falls in the home, but also detecting everything surrounding the fall. So what they were doing before the fall, where they were in their home when they fell, and we're detecting all this information so that doctors can use it to prevent future falls. Um, so over here we have um, our sensor system. So um, this records um, all of the data that goes into our device for detecting the falls. All of this data is fed into a set of machine learning algorithms that we developed over the last year, um, which can detect when you're fall how exactly you fell, when you're falling, and all the events preceding and after you fell, so you can understand what a patient was doing before and after falling. Yeah, so this is a LiDAR sensor. When this spins around in a circle, it can detect where the walls in a room are, uh, and it can create a map of it. If they're near their couch and they fell, a physician can make a recommendation to get a couch that's better suited for them in terms of height, because a lot of times people fall when the couch is too low or too high. Given that falls are such a big issue, um, a lot of different teams have tried to tackle this already. There's a lot of existing fall detection methods out there. Life Alert, there's your Apple Watch, which can even like alert. Um, medical attention when you fall and everything. But what we really wanted to tap into was the fall prevention space. There are existing fall prevention methods out there, but that's mostly surveys. And a lot of it is based on the physician asking the patient, what were you doing when you fell? What time did you fall? And for a lot of people, answering this question isn't very easy. So what we really wanted was a system that can look at the patient's environment and how they interact with, environment, with their environment and how that's actually causing them to fall. So for example, it could be when they get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. They could be falling then, and then because they're so sleepy, they could not remember any of this, right? So we really wanted a system that could track um, location, activity within, within the home, and look at the patient's specific environment, um, see how they interact with all of that, and ultimately our goal is to just prevent those falls from happening and save lives.